What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping in. I realize that I've done a walk around video in the past and going over some of the modifications that I've made uh, to this car, but I don't think I've ever done kind of a top five favorite modification video. So I was thinking the sun is shining. What better day than today? If you're new to the channel, I would just say that uh, you might want to subscribe right now and take a look back at some of my older stuff if you have any interest whatsoever in the Q50, G37, 370Z kind of platform, this VQ37 uh, subject. I've got over 100 videos dedicated just to this platform. We're hoping to expand the horizons a little bit more and broaden kind of our base uh, in the speed culture. Uh, but like I said, if you have any interest in this platform whatsoever, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now if you would, and hit the little bell as well so you can stay up to date because we've got a lot of good things coming. So I'm going to quickly run through my top five in no particular order, and I may include a couple of runner-ups that may not necessarily be mods, we'll use that term loosely, but a couple of things that I purchased for this car that I really do enjoy. So let's get started with number one. So, for no particular reason other than proximity to where I'm currently sitting, I'm going to go with paddle shifters. These were a huge addition. Again, not necessarily a modification because, of course, the sport model comes with paddles, uh, but the premium and base do not. Uh, super pumped that they were pre-wired in the 2015 model, and uh, I just picked these paddle shifters up from a local salvage yard for like 100 bucks or $125, which is pretty sick. Uh, and then just got the shroud, the top and bottom portion of the shroud for uh, about $100 from uh, Infinity Parts website. Again, paddle shifters from a local salvage yard uh, from a G37. The guy at the salvage yard said they generally sell them for like 250 bucks on eBay, but because I was local and I came and picked them up within just a couple of hours, he cut me a hell of a deal. Uh, so you can't beat that, but you can find these for under uh, under $300 uh, on eBay. I just looked for somebody not too long ago, and I think I found 15 of them, uh, 15 listings for $300 or less. So there you go. And I use these things every single day, all the time. I love them. They're fun uh, in the mountains. They're super beneficial because you like to control your RPMs coming into corners and going out of corners. Uh, you want to make sure you're in that proper RPM range to, uh, you know, get through as quickly as possible. So paddle shifters, huge. They may be my number one. Uh, number two favorite mod so far on the Infinity Q50, I got to say the Tain S-Tech lowering springs. Although I might eventually go coilovers because we're getting into autocross, these lowering springs are pretty sweet. With the right tools and help from my installation video, you can install them in about a half a day uh, for 200 bucks or so. They're really high quality spring and they give the car just the, the perfect stance. It's about a one and a quarter inch drop over stock and that is all you need. I've already done a review video on these springs, so I'm not going to talk your ear off about them right here. But again, about a one and a quarter inch drop over stock, no sagging in the rear, relatively simple to install with the right tools and the right guidance. Uh, but I could feel an immediate change in the car's handling, obviously lowering the center, gra center of gravity. Uh, the car felt much more nimble and much more under control with the addition of these springs. Ride is fantastic, not too much different than stock, which is awesome. They're just low enough to look really cool, but not too low to where you need camber arms or anything crazy like that added to your suspension. My alignment was right on the money after installation. How did I think about it? These might be number one. Next on the list, Hotchkiss sway bars, front and rear. Adjustable and much more substantial than the factory setup. As you can see, these made a massive difference after install. Paired with the lower center of gravity provided by the Tain S-Tech Springs, these Hotchkiss sway bars made a huge difference. As I said, the car felt much more nimble, uh, much more in control. I have them on the firmest setting, by the way. Uh, you can definitely tell going around corners or coming in or out of steep driveways uh, how tight the setup actually is. But it certainly makes a big difference taking tight corners at higher speeds, especially in the mountains. Uh, the tail end of the car doesn't feel like it trails, like a snake tail. That's how I, that's how I described it before. A snake weaving the back end in the factory setup kind of follows lagging behind the front end. But now with these sway bars, as soon as I hit the steering wheel, the, it feels like the entire car is making the corner, which is what you want. I hope that makes sense. But nonetheless, I think these might be my favorite mod. I don't really know if anyone considers a tune a mod or a modification, but I guess technically uh, you are modifying the brain, the operating system essentially of your car. 
But I'd have to say my number one favorite modification is the Ecutech tune that I had done at Soho Motorsports. We were able to pull out a little extra low end torque but carry it through the power band which is super important. We are able to increase the peak horsepower number quite a bit as well which is fantastic but more importantly we have a strong pull all the way through redline which I love. The throttle response is super snappy and the uh, car is running great. Finally, my number one favorite modification has to be the exhaust system. I personally really love this exhaust system for a couple of reasons. Number one, it takes a lot of time and effort and experimentation to really find a combination that you like. And the one reason I went with the custom catback setup in particular is because going with something out of the box, even if it's as you know, as well established as a Motordyne, for example, if you don't like it, you have to kind of chunk the whole entire system. And that's not something I'm super interested in. I've gained a ton of experience over the years working with different cars from four cylinders to V6 to big V8s with different displacements uh, and pairing them with different exhaust systems and different components. So I kind of have an idea, a pretty good idea of what each component can do, what different exhaust parts do from different manufacturers and how they'll affect a specific car um, and with some trial and error and going through a couple of different combinations on this VQ um, I found the right setup um, it happens to be consist of a Borla Pro XS muffler which is essentially a resonated X pipe it looks like a muffler but it is just a true crossover with a perforated core uh, paired with some Flowmaster Flow FX resonators. They're substantial rev resonators out back. So that combination really gets rid of a lot of that rasp and essentially eliminates drone. Uh, it's a great setup. I love how it sounds. But like I said, going with an out of the box system kind of pigeonholes you into you know what that specific manufacturer offers. Um, they might use one brand of muffler and resonator. So you're kind of stuck. Some brands have better resonators than mufflers or vice versa. And, um, you know, finding the right combination of elements that work well together, uh, it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort and a little bit of money, of course. Um, but I like the personal touch of it. I like having my own setup. Uh, some other folks have copied it and I think they're super happy with it, which is fantastic. Um, but I like having something a little bit different than what you normally see out on the street. On a couple clips, sure, here you go. I will say let's talk about those now one of my absolute favorites and if I can remember I'll put a link in the description below is this guy right here oh Carolina stance shop call him if you need him um, this little organization tray has been huge it provides a, a nice little padded tray for the shades to keep my draggy in here um, it has this little opening so you can run your chargers up through it and you know allows you to keep a little organization below otherwise without this thing everything is so deep in there you have all your cords tangled up in, in there you got change and pens and whatever else floating around this little tray has been pretty sweet and it fits so perfectly so cleanly god i got a dust in here <sighs> again we're using the term mod really loosely with this one but as far as additions to the car go you know 
outside of factory spec and factor, factory inclusions, this little guy, top of my list for sure. I definitely have to include these in with the honorable mentions, barely outside of the top five, but these drilled and slotted rotors from R1 Concepts are pretty nice. Uh, they look great, although a little bit small. Uh, they have worked out really well in the mountains and uh, in daily driving over the last week. Um, and since we're right here, I can't forget about the Amazon Special 3-piece splitter. This is, in fact, for the 2018-2019 Q50s, but it fits the 2015 just right. Gives the front end a lot more aggressive look. I like it. Now, for the last of the honorable mentions, no, it is not the Strut Tower Brace from Megan Racing, although I do like it. Um, I would have to say the last honorable mention is the Z1 intake tubes from Z1 Motorsports. Uh, they really clean up the look of the engine bay. Uh, I'm not going to say they do anything for performance necessarily, uh, but they look really nice, especially when they're clean, and uh, I like them. So what are you guys working on? What are some of your favorite mods and honorable mentions and why? Let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing what everybody else is working on. Other than that, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys in future videos. I appreciate the support very, very much, and uh, got a lot of good stuff coming, so stick around. Thanks.